Welcome to the Blue Cafe. We offer stories of infidelity, betrayal, and redemption. Please like and subscribe. Cheers. Now, on to today's story. Should I even bother feeling down? The Monday after Mother's Day I find out that half of my life is just a sick joke, that my wife my own mother and my big sister have kept a horrible secret from me and now I am living in a hotel room, trying to decide if I should just ghost everything and everyone or confront them and maybe flip the duck out and end up in jail. Worst day so far. Rant. At dinner and a talk with my 23-year-old daughter who two weeks ago after a DNA test is not my biological child has not been dealing with it well. Found out that she went to see her bio father in the hospital. After speaking with him got mad at me because I couldn't keep this just between me and him, that I could have been the bigger man and just let it go, instead I let this ruin my family. After dinner I bought a pack of cigarettes and went to the bar got hammered, lucky for me my brother-in-law came to the rescue and just woke up on his couch feeling half dead. Confrontation Update Announcement Started on Friday night after dinner. Having written down some 15 good questions that I needed answered, we first had a kind of opening statement, she started and went along the lines of our 24 good years together and how she wants to repair us, and how bad she felt for her lying to me all these years, went on for about 20 minutes. Both of us teared up. I had to get a few things off my chest that were bothering me the most. She was upset and crying up until my final statement which either she had not realized or had suppressed. My statement was that me and her had fooled around some but had never had intercourse before we got married, so my scumbag cousin consummated my marriage for me. It broke her, had a panic attack, passed out and ended up going into shock, called my daughter who is YN, and did what I could to lift her feet. Stayed watching over her the rest of the night was super upset and worried, and would like to thank a few friends here that have been helping find my center and got me through that night. Saturday morning when she woke up with me next to her, which she said gave her some strength she needed. I had thought that my questions weren't going to be answered, and had basically been more worried about her well-being than my own, she got up got a shower and when she returned said let's get some breakfast, and then we can continue from yesterday and was sorry she freaked out so badly, got about 5 question answered before my daughter showed up with her fiancé, to check on her mom, they stayed for 4 hours or so, after they left, got through another 5 questions before we called it a night. And I went back to my hovel and killed a 12 pack of beer. I know drinking is not to answer but I was upset, I have never loved and hated someone at the same time and I just wanted the battle in my head to calm down, so I drowned it out with some PBRs, nasty beer BTW, went to bed about the same time she was getting up for church. Slept until about noon when she came over with some food, and wanted to continue, so we did. Her answers were not what was hurting me, in fact the details helped put away my imagination of it. And a lot of them made me feel better, what hurt me was going against my instinct to protect her, seeing her cry and bare her soul to me was the lowest point of my life. A few times I tried to call it and she was adamant about getting everything out, and how it was her turn to make sure I had everything I needed. So I am sitting in bed on Monday morning feeling pretty good in general and I am comfortable with my plan going forward. We are going to start over in a way we will live apart and date and see if we can form a new relationship on the ashes of our old one. With that being said, all five kids are mine regardless of what a piece of paper says. I love my children unconditionally and yes I realize without the lie I would have none of them still hate it but am thankful for it if that makes sense. There is no quick fix or going back to what we had, but the girl she was back then is not the woman she has grown into so that's where I currently am. Thank you all for your help and comments kept me from going insane trying to internalize all this craziness of the last month. Hands down May 2021 was a nightmare but finally woke up from it. Started therapy sorta, positive. Went to see my wife's pastor today, at my wife's request. 
had a nice three hour talk with her about my current state of my family and my marriage, not sure if it's a great idea for one person to counsel two people separately on the same issue I guess and then later marriage counseling when we get to that stage but lack of options. Hysterical bonding? Seeking advice? Anyone who has experienced this, any input would be very helpful. I am currently confused and conflicted. Is that normal? And any advice on how and what I should do about it? Mental movies. Question. So mental movies, would it be better to know the details or not, cause at this point I don't have any details other than the fact they had sex twice in one day and my mind is making shit up. Update, positive. Let's see my evil cousin lost his battle with cancer and passed away on Monday, and the world is a better place for it. I know it's hateful but it's how I feel. My wife found out about Reddit and went on here trying to understand why I have ghosted my real life friends and she got more than she bargained for. It has given her the one piece that had been eluding her perspective. I have come home to a more humble wife and has finally got the true understanding that for me this just happened not 24 years ago so we are closer to being on the same page. I didn't plan on the rain. Positive. Had this huge plan, beach, sun, and fun. And mother nature said, you guys need some rain, and well guess she was right and spent most of the day in bed. I have finally realized I need to move back in our house. I overthink and second guess too much. She did hurt more than even I knew but allowed ghosts from the past to ruin your present and destroy your future. The story of our lives might have started with a lie, but the love we have shared over the years isn't, the five amazing kids are a truth, and the silly woman that has been with me over half my life that just seeing her brings a smile to my face is a fact. Hopefully this weekend will put some of her fears and anxiety to rest. Update, after a nice weekend away. Positive. Planned a romantic weekend at the beach, it rained a lot but we spent the whole weekend together. Have discovered I few changes in me that I am not sure about yet, she seems to be enjoying the changes but still a little unnerved by them, the loss of control scares me a little and yes I overthink way too much. On the positive I am moving back in with her this week, well already started staying last night and told her I will be her bed warmer again so she is happy and seeing her smile puts my whole life in perspective. Update, 4th of July party, plan. Positive. Update first. Moved back in with my wife. Had my oldest daughter over for dinner and a talk, we wanted to make sure she didn't have any questions and she had all she needed to start healing. My daughter's response is engraved on my soul now, she said the hows and whys are meaningless for her, her mom and dad are standing in front of her and have always loved her and will always love her so she didn't need any other answers. 4th of July party we are going to have a big cookout or as we call them here a pig picking, cooking a whole pig, inviting all 6 couples that are our closest friends and their kids. When we are able to get the couples alone me and the wife are going to explain why we have ghosted them since May and answer any questions they have to the best of our ability. The plan, I know I still have a lot of mental hang ups, like being unable to just make love to my wife like before and feeling sad and depressed afterwards. I will hopefully get into some therapy soon to help with this problem. But until then I will do my best to make sure it's not something I need time to work through. Update week before July 4th. On Thursday of this week I started getting phone calls and texts ranging from sorry this is happening to you if you need someone to talk to or a place to let me know, to hey once your divorce is finally mind if I take run at your wife. And on Friday my twin girls come and inform me they got into it with their grandmother in Applebee's seems she has been telling anyone who will listen that my wife has been cheating on me my whole marriage and none of the kids are mine and she has tried for years to make me see it and I have disowned her for it, already did a DNA tests 4 of 5 are mine. Wife took a polygraph test and passed. 
I believed her anyway so it didn't really help me, I was having a 4th of July party and we were going to talk to our closest friends and explain why we have been ghosting them for the better part of 2 months. And guess my mom can't keep her lies straight. Having had a few people call and ask if she is having a breakdown or something and has 4 or 5 different versions of my wife is a godless Jezebel story. Oddly enough I am calm and pretty much unfazed by this week, more worried about my kids which have all been staying over since Friday night and have come to the conclusion that we are going to take care of each other and not worry about other people's bullshit. Would like to thank everyone for their perspectives and life challenges have gotten me through a very dark time in my life. Theory of a dead man, forgot how much this song hurts. Feeling down. Had a bullet hit week and putting on a brave face and telling all my closest friends what the hell is really going on and why we ghosted them for two months took a toll on my mental state and while I was working today a song came on think it's called maybe it's not meant to be by the Roy of a dead man and I straight up ducking lost it. Been sitting under an overpass for like three hours crying and feeling like a world class asshole shaking so bad I can't even drive home. Online therapist appointment was a joke. Feeling down. I basically lit a $100 bill on fire yesterday, had my first and well last online therapy, guy was a joke asked me like 5 questions followed by him saying well how does that make for feel for 45 minutes. Update, day before daughter's wedding. My oldest is getting married on Saturday. It has been a very busy week to say the least. My wife has finally forgiven herself for lying to me for the last 24 years and seems to finally be coming to terms with our salvaged relationship, I feel bad that we can never have what we had before. Have not been able to salvage any of my previous friendships. I no longer feel comfortable around them and the wedding will be the last time I will be around them. I will put on a brave face shake hands, and be a happy father for a few hours. Have planned a small getaway for me and my wife after the wedding, then we'll get back and find a new contract to take, I have a need to work as much as possible keeps my mind busy I know at my age I should seek my leisure time. But life rarely turns out as you plan I suppose, thanks to everyone for your support and advice and hope you can find your happiness. Thank you. Announcement. I would like to thank everyone who helped me get through the last two months of chaos. I am in a much better place and I find myself in need to focus on my family and after much inner reflection I find I am using Reddit for the wrong reasons and will be removing myself I hope that everyone can and will find their happiness. Vacation is over. Feeling down. Had a pretty good time on vacation, after my oldest wedding, dreading Monday we have a face to face therapy set up both of us in the same day about 2 hours apart hers is 8am mine is at 10pm I believe, had a panic attack small one about 30 minutes or so a few days ago, we found a puppy on the outer banks been out there on his own a while but doing better he sees the vet on Tuesday. Was hopeful that this time together would cure my hang ups that didn't happen, feel kinda emotionally stuck at the moment. Like I can't see a way forward not in a bad place but far from where I was comfortable. Therapy thoughts? Feeling down. Hello all it's been a bit, I have been doing IC for a few weeks now she is really getting to the root issues and has all but gotten rid of my anxiety but it's like the more I work this stuff out the less I care about life or living it. Not really sad hell I don't feel anything like I am existing, losing weight again just not hungry if my wife doesn't force me to eat more than likely wouldn't. We hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Please comment, like and subscribe. Cheers. Have a wonderful day or night. Wherever you are.